Hey guys, so in this video I've got a new graphics card and it's a 3060 Ti and it's from a company called G Shuo. Um, I didn't get it from AliExpress this time, I saw it on um, eBay so I thought I'd give it a shot and see if it's any good. Um, so this is what the book box looks like. Um, it's the full fat desktop version, 3060 Ti, 8GB. So this is what the box looks like. Most of it's in Chinese, I have no idea what it all says, but yeah, let's get it opened and see what the card looks like. So here it is, this is what it looks like. Dual fan, um, it's got a 8 pin um, port at the top, quite chunky, you can see the heat pipes in there, heat sink looks quite big. On the other side you've got the free DP. And ports, so you've got the HDMI port. This is what the back looks like. You've got a metal plate there, you can see the sticker there 3060 Ti. Um, and on this side, nothing special. So, yeah, this is what the card looks like. What I'll do is I'll get the 2060 Super and we'll compare the size. Here is a 2060 Super, and that's from MLLSE, and you can see it's a lot more. Bigger, a lot more thicker. And you can see how much of a difference there is. And you probably can see there's a bit of a theme going. This one has also those green accents. So yeah, it has a bit of a fluke really. I don't really like the colour green, but it is what it is. Right, so what I'm going to do now is put it in the uh, PC and see what kind of like figures we get. This video is going to be really basic in terms of testing and the following video is going to be more kind of like comprehensive um, testing on games etc. But I just want to give you a quick look on what this video card um, kind of like looks like, how it works and if it's worth you know getting it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to chuck it in the PC and see what kind of figures we get. So here you can see the results of the Fermark bench test that I've done. So I've got a score of 11,881, average FPS of 198, 3060 Ti um, at 1080p resolution. I did upgrade my CPU to 5700X. That's upgraded from the 3600 that I had for about two years. You can see the temperatures, 72 degrees. And what I want to do a comparison with other 3060 Ti's. And as you can see, it's averaging about 10% more than all the other ones. So I'm not sure if it's because of my CPU upgrade that I've done or just my system itself, but it seems higher than all the other ones. I did do the um, test multiple times and I keep getting around the same. And then I've done another one using my own fan curve. These are all settings with the um, default out of the box. So obviously I might be able to push it a bit more if I've done a bit of overclocking and undervolting. Um, but as it stands, this is what I got. Right, so I booted up into Days Gone and it's running at 1080p. Everything's set to very high. Just want to see the temps and you know the wattage usage, VRAM usage, and things like that. What I wanted to note is just ignore the 0% because that's not working and ignore the average because obviously when you go to the menu it goes up really high or sometimes when you're loading up it's set to it fluctuates at zero sometimes etc etc so just ignore that for the time being just look at the fps so it's running around 130 hits 140 at times um pretty you know usual usual stuff running pretty well temps yep yeah, around the high 60s wattage it fluctuates around the 160 180 um, and the millivolts is around 900 millivolts. Uh, memory usage around the 4 gig mark, so plenty there. This is an 8 gigabyte card, so it should handle this game pretty well. And yeah, all good. With the undervolt and overclocking certain areas, you can get it to run even smoother. Um, so I'll probably do that in the future and normally I cap my games so if I was playing this game I'll probably cap it to 120 frames per second just give me that smoother game experience um, I don't like it when it's maxed out and you're kind of like wasting your making your GPU work for nothing when 120 would be plenty 
Right, so booted into Modern Warfare 2 DMZ mode, and as you can see, the temperature is around high 60s, um, wattage is around 180, voltage 1000 millivolts. And one thing to note on extreme mode, you can see the VRAM is at around 7200. So obviously this card is an 8 gig card. So future proofing this card, um, I'm not sure. Obviously it might work for another good few years at the extreme or might have to go down preset. But I think 8 gigs in this day and age is pretty low. Might have to go for something higher in the future. So I'm going to have a look at the 4060 Ti, hopefully they do add some VRAMs, uh, higher VRAM into that card, might be an option that I'll buy in the future. Um, as, in, as you can see the FPS running around the 90s which is pretty decent, so if I was playing this game I'll probably cap it to 90 to give me that smooth gameplay. And then what I'll do is jump into the water just to show you that the frames go down because it's got this um, reflections and water acoustics that kind of pushes the graphics card to its limit so as you can see as I go near the water I jump in it's, it's going down but yeah nothing the 3060 can't handle and then back out again and it's come back out it's, it comes back up again to around the 90s so that's one thing to kind of uh, keep an eye on if you're playing it with those uh, settings on then it does affect your graphics card normally I would turn these off and motion blur, motion blur and all of that stuff I'll turn off to give me that smooth gameplay but there you go that's the card if you have any questions write them down below i'll catch you guys on the next one it's peace